Good morning and a happy third day of Vlogmas. I hope you guys are all enjoying your December. We definitely are. <sighs> Girls finished their breakfasts for school a little bit early. And Ruby is, as you can see, laying on the floor. She's drawing out an advent calendar to which she's going to cut out doors on all the paper. I think she put 10 pieces of computer paper together. And uh, it's very exciting to see. I guess she's telling me to, I guess we'll share it with you later when she's finished. So I am sitting here in the living room enjoying some relaxing time with her while Elodie finishes up getting ready, drinking a tasty coffee out of this mug that I got from my grandma Sue quite a while ago. It's one that I used all the time when I was a little girl. And I am enjoying Polly, her company. <laughs> and uh, just sitting here and doing a little bit of knitting on my cozy Christmas blanket. Good morning. I hope you guys are doing well. I, for those of you who are new to our Patreon or just new, Ruby usually gives me a stuffed animal that I'm supposed to watch throughout the day and today it is cookies. She has Coco, which is a bigger um, koala and then she has cookies, which is this one. So that one's hanging out with us today. I have some computer work I have to do this morning, packing and such. And I got a new box of charms from Simply Serving to the shop. So I'm going to be adding those into my little charm boxes and putting together some kits for those. Time to start dyeing up some yarn. So, today I'm dyeing up two colorways. One of those is Gingerbread Man. I used to have a colorway called Gingerbread House. It's not gone. I just won't be dyeing it this year. I want to do something different, something new, and I have a pretty good idea. So I'm excited to get that started. And uh, yeah, let's start dyeing it up. Of course we need chocolate. Did I just have chocolate all over my lips? I don't know. But of course we need a little bit of chocolate, peppermint chocolate to be exact. And a hot cup of black coffee before I start the Christmas dying to get in the spirit, which I am already in full force. So I'm starting with Gingerbread Man and I think I might be dying Little Spruce today. I'm not sure though. It's kind of been on my mind if I want to wait to start that until January because I have so many Christmas colorways. Do I just want to dye them all now and wait to do more wintry colorways until after? I don't know. I'll dye up um, Gingerbread Man first while I ponder it. So cue the Christmas music. It will always be Christmas in my heart. I dye in some of the weirdest clothes. Like this is so not dye friendly. These sleeves are so long and big. But you know what? I like to be dressed for my day. And if it's not dye friendly, I'm still going to wear it. Hand knit sweaters, lacy white shirts. Just how I roll. Cold 
Good morning. I am working right now on some vlogs in our winter garden, which is so nice because it's white outside, as you can see. Oh, and maybe you heard it. I brought a friend up today here into the, into the winter garden because usually Neil likes to run downstairs and he strolls downstairs through all the, the rooms and he has a nice place down there where he where it's a little darker where he sleeps during the night but today I thought it would be nice to have him up here so right now he has to adjust a little bit to the environment oh you want to play cool hey dickies come here hey yeah come here sweeties oh yeah come here come here you come here Mm -hmm. That worked out totally perfect. Oh, there he is behind me. It seems like we are playing catch in here. Hey. He's not happy up here, it seems like. Wow. Mm. around just <laughs> flip around the gingerbread man colorway so that I can get the spots that haven't been dyed. I have to do that twice for this particular colorway. So we are on number two. Also, I have no idea why I just put a mask on. I don't need one while I'm flipping yarn. There's no active uh, yarn particles in here. However, I will put my fine particle fan on because I will be speckling in just a little bit. We have a fan up here for fine particles that sucks up. Hopefully most of those fine particles that go up in the air when I'm dyeing yarn. I think this colorway is going to turn out really Really cool. I am like two rows away from finishing the fourth color in my cozy Christmas blanket and so I can't wait until I'm going to cake up my fifth skein of yarn. Which is exciting. It is our um, antique colorway. But in all honesty, I am the most excited to get to bohemian which is this one so i've got to get through antique to get to that and antique is really really pretty too it's such a gorgeous tonal lots and lots of tonality there Coffee break. I have really been enjoying espresso lately, so that's what I'm drinking right now, just pure espresso.
time to package up some orders. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys love all of your fun Christmas and autumnal yarns that you guys have been ordering. It's been so much fun to see you all loving just all of the Christmas sock sets, Christmas colorways, Christmas mini skein sets, little kits that I have. Um, in a few days, we're having a new kit come to the shop. It's for the Maxine hot water bottle, cozy that uh, Laura from Penrose Knits came out with. I am going to be knitting up a sample today and throughout the next couple of days, and I've dyed a bunch of yarn for a lot of kits to go with it. So there will be some fun things that come along with that kit for those of you who love hot water bottles and just cozy wintertime things. third Sunday of Advent I thought that I would share with you that was Polly I thought that I would share with you our first Sunday of Advent sock set so we had a kind of four Sundays of Advent in our shop one of the Advent offerings that we offered was a four Sundays of Advent sock set each Sunday of Advent you got a sock set to open and you had your choice of whether you wanted a 120 gram sock set or a 70 gram sock set. And our first day was called The Most Wonderful Time. Just from the song, it's the most wonderful time of the year. And this one is, I think, very quite Christmassy, gorgeous. I loved knitting this colorway. And we have our really cute little progress keeper on here. This is made by Katie of Lock and Lou. She made it for our 24 mini skein advent. So I kept one of those cute little charms for myself. I ordered an extra one and this is going to keep me company while I knit my four Sundays of advent socks. So this is the first one. I did just a really fun textured fun texture on this sock which i made up and just i didn't make up you know there are lots of stitch textures i found a texture i liked and i put it in a sock so this is that one and i love this sock so this evening i will be casting on the second sock with our most wonderful time of the year or the most wonderful time. I can't remember what I called it, but those of you who have it, you know, it's either it's the most wonderful time or the most wonderful time of the year, something like that. And so I am going to cast this on while I sit here in the winter garden and enjoy the snow coming down. So I knit all of my socks on a two millimeter needle and American size zero or US zero and 56 stitches is what I will be using for each Sunday of Advent socks. So I'm hoping to finish a pair at the end of each week. That would be so lovely. So I hope those of you who are joining me in knitting your four Sundays of Advent socks that you guys enjoy so much. I hope you loved this first colorway. I think it's so perfect to kind of kick off the December Advent Christmas season. Polly's barking at people who are coming through the forest on their way home from work or children walking home from school or riding their bikes home from school. She's kind of the little watchdog, so. You're going to probably hear her growling right now. It is about that time. Let's, let's see what time it is. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon, so. I've just finished my work day and I'm coming up here, as I said, to cast on these pair of socks. And yeah, thank you guys so much for supporting us throughout this Advent season. And I hope those of you who purchased this Advent, four Sundays of Advent sock knit along, enjoy your first Sunday of Advent. My favorite way of knitting 
socks is using double pointed needles and I love Haya Haya Sharps. It is time to get dinner going and I've realized that we don't have any potatoes and I had planned to make potatoes and spinach which is just literally what it sounds like super German and so delicious everyone in my family loves it um, you often have it with like scrambled eggs you could have it with schnitzel or just kind of anything or you could just have potatoes with spinach but we don't have any potatoes boiled potatoes is what how you have them so i'm thinking i'm going to i would like to make salt like fried rice but that's all the rice we have that was my that was my next plan do we truly not have any more rice no, we don't. All right, I need to have a good look at what we have. I think I will make some glass noodles with a bunch of kind of like a stir fry. We don't have a lot, which kind of sucks, but I will have to see what I can do here. Thank God we have Two pointy peppers, Spitzpaprika, and an onion. I think the onion's okay. Something smells weird. No idea what, but time to get chopping. up. I've brought with me a nice and warm cherry pit cushion, which I just love to snuggle up to on the couch in the evenings. So I brought that, heated it up in the microwave. And then, of course, I brought myself one of these Milka chocolates to snack on with a cup of espresso. So just a little bit in this quite large cup, but so good. Robert has just arrived home from handball. Oh God, I did not mean to do that. And I have been doing a bit of knitting, as you guys have seen, on my first Sunday of Advent socks, which has been very nice. I've just taken a wonderful bath. Yeah, and Robert looks very pale, because I think after handball and then a hot no, bath. Yeah, it was the hot bath and I got out too fast and my yeah, my blood pressure probably went down a little bit. Mm -hmm. But it was nice. It was a nice... Of course, of course, yeah. Okay, yeah. And now we are getting a little mm -hmm. tired. Tired? And so I think that we will be going to bed soon. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys have a very nice um, beginning of your Advent time. Mm -hmm. It's the first 
Sunday of Advent today? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna yawn again. Close my eyes. I'm going to yawn again. You guys can tell we are tired. We need to get into bed because tomorrow is school. We have to get up early with the girls, or you do, I'm guessing, tomorrow. And yeah, thank you guys so much for joining us in Advent, for supporting us, mm -hmm. and for having fun with it. I'm going to yawn again. All right, yeah, you guys. What's going on here? It is time to go. Good night. Thank you so much, and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.